Welcome back to High Technology as we feature on the newly updated USMC Heavy Lift Helicopter, the CH-53K King Stallion. From a design dating back to the 1960s, this amazing aircraft will see service for many more decades. Feel free to join the club as we unravel high-end technologies on the planet by subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any exciting videos in the future. Since 1960, the US Marine Corps or USMC has been replacing its HR-2S piston-powered helicopters. In 1961, they started developing the Tri-Service VTOL Transport, which later evolved into the LTV XC-142 Tiltwing. When it became clear that they wouldn't have a functional machine in time, the Marines withdrew. In 1962, the Marines asked for a heavy helicopter experimental HHX. On October 14, 1964, in Stratford, Connecticut, the YCH-53A had its maiden flight. The most recent model of this heavy lift helicopter is the CH-53K King Stallion. It is designed to be effective in maritime operations on the contemporary battlefield. This helicopter is clever, trustworthy, low maintenance, and able to survive in even the most remote and harsh forward operating base. It is also regarded as the US military's biggest helicopter and the latest option for the truly heavy lift. The USMC's crucial land and sea-based logistical connection will be the CH-53 King Stallion helicopter which was created to exacting requirements. The new heavy lifter will make it possible for the USMC and other forces to move soldiers and supply from ships to land and to higher altitude terrain more quickly and efficiently than ever before. Helicopter cleaning is a big part of military discipline for US Marines. The ramp-mounted 50 caliber machine gun requires regular maintenance. On August 6, 2022, Marines from Marine Heavy Helicopter Squadron or HMH 461 at Mountain Home Air Force Base in Idaho carried out standard maintenance on the CH-53K King Stallion. The King Stallion was used in an exercise for the first time by the Marine Corps. The 2nd Marine Expeditionary Forces Aviation Combat Element, 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing is subordinate to HMH-461. Additionally, before flight, .50 caliber bullets are put into their ammunition-ready compartments. Before takeoff, the ground crew gets ready to refuel the King Stallion. In 5 distinct tanks, the King Stallion has a fuel capacity of 4,600 86 gallons. The R-11 refueler is finished once the ground crew gives their approval for the fuel they loaded. The maximum takeoff weight for the King Stallion is 88,000 pounds. John Browning created the Browning .50 caliber machine gun at the conclusion of World War I. The machine gun can fire continuously at a high rate without jamming. The GAU-15A is the M2 variant that is mounted on a CH-53. The Super Stallion gets ready to practice loading goods into a Humvee. Using a static discharge wand, the electrical charge on the helicopter is first released. The ground troops check to make sure the lift ropes are not tangling after hooking up. Up to 36,000 pounds may be lifted by the CH-53E using its center hook. When a CH-53K King Stallion carried a joint light tactical vehicle for the first time, the air and the ground came together in the future. The CH-53E Super Stallion will be replaced by the King Stallion. It will be the biggest and heaviest helicopter used by the US military and has a lifting capacity of 36,000 pounds which is three times that of the Super Stallion. The cabin can accommodate the Humvee and can travel more than 110 nautical miles with an external load weighing 27,000 pounds. The generation of static charges is substantially influenced by the presence of exceptionally dusty conditions. It is ready to lift a LAV logistics variant that weighs around 12 tons. At the Naval Air Station Patuxent River in Maryland on January 18, 2018, the CH-53K King Stallion displayed its capacity for heavy lift lifting by raising a joint light tactical vehicle for the first time. Four crew members can fit inside this helicopter. Additionally, the stallion outperformed its forerunner by transporting roughly 30% more external payload than the CH-53E's 12,200 kilos over the same 204 kilometer radius. With a maximum cargo of 15,900 kilograms and a maximum gross weight of 39,900 kilograms, the stallion maintains about the same footprint as the CH-53E. Additionally, this helicopter has participated in a number of training sessions. With the aid of a Lockheed Martin KC-130J aerial refueling tanker, the Cave Stallion helicopter completed an air-to-air -air refueling test successfully. During a 4.5-hour flight over the Chesapeake Bay, it has consistently shown that it can capture and plug the medication while enduring turbulent air and the strain on the refueling probe at increasing closure rates. Additionally, the US on June 10, 2021 at landing zone Quail on Marine Corps Base Camp 
Franklin June in North Carolina Marines from Marine Operational Test and Evaluation Squadron 1 or BMX-1 train with the CH-53K King Stallion. The CH-53K will take the position of the CH-53E Super Stallion which has served the Marine Corps for over 40 years. During ship-to-shore movements in support of amphibious assault and following operations ashore, the CH-53K will ferry Marines heavy equipment and supplies. On top of this, the UH-1Y Venom is an upgraded version of the UH-1N. For greater component compatibility, the Venom and AH-1Z Viper were designed concurrently. The Venom's tail rotor gears are examined by the maintenance team. The GAU-21 door gun is spindle placed on the Venom. The pilots and two aerial observers make up the standard UH-1Y crew of four. The UH-1Y is also equipped with two stations for rocket pods. The pilot sits in the right seat and the co-pilot in the left in the UH-1Y. 850 rounds may be fired per minute by the GAU-21. The range of this .50 caliber weapon is 2,000 yards. The GAU-17A minigun can likewise be used to arm the Venom. A six-barrel rotating machine gun called the minigun can fire up to 6,000 rounds per minute. The minigun is electrically powered and fed by belts made of corroding metal links. The US dirt This was used by the US Army during a training exercise at Camp Pendleton in California. Marines with Marine Light Attack Helicopter Squadron 469 or AHMLA 469 practice close air support with the UH-1Y Venom. The goal of this training is to improve battle preparedness by creating a realistic training environment. The lead amphibious assault of the America class is USS America. The MV-22 Osprey getting ready to land on the flight deck. Ospreys are capable of rapidly and farther deploying forces for a variety of actions. The Osprey has the ability to fly like a plane and land like a helicopter. On October 31, 2018, Marines from VMM-265 trained using the MV-22 Osprey on Okinawa, Japan. The Marines' abilities to function in real-world contingency are strengthened by training experiences that hones their capabilities during aircraft operations. The US Navy manages amphibious assault ships, which carry Marine units and their gear. For safety, Osprey takeoffs are oriented away from the ship's superstructure. A CH-53E Super Stallion is getting ready to be repositioned by an aviation tow tractor. FOD sweeps are used to eliminate hazardous items off the flight deck. The F-35B is the F-35 Lightning II vertical takeoff and landing variant. The Firebird is an intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance ISR aircraft. The aircraft is special in that it may be operated remotely from a ground station or by a pilot. The Firebird is categorized as an OPV or an optionally piloted vehicle. The Firebird product line for Northrop Grumman is offered in manned, autonomous, and optionally piloted variants. Through a totally open architecture and plug-and-play payload integration, Firebird is intended to offer ISR payload and cockpit flexibility. The cutting-edge architecture of Firebird represents a fresh method for delivering medium-altitude ISR. The true mission flexibility is made possible by our technology, which enables customers to carry out their tasks using various pilot and payload configurations, whether for line-of-sight or beyond line-of-sight operations. Users of the system can execute a variety of ISR missions for more than 30 hours at an altitude of about 25,000 feet thanks to the system's unique hardware and software. It has a dual tail boom and a Lycoming T0540 pusher type engine. The device has a top speed of 230 miles per hour and can fly for up to 40 hours at a height of 30,000 feet. The Firebird is designed for operations outside line of sight. The Firebird weights under 5,000 pounds when fully loaded. In order to improve Firebird's capabilities and enable the system to carry out new tasks, Northrop Grumman is seeking hardware and software partners to join the Firebird ecosystem. The following are some particular areas of interest. Communications, tracking and artificial intelligence, environmental and scientific. The ownership experience adds to the Firebird's versatility, a mechanism that will let clients shorten the period between decision and delivery to offer ownership flexibility is being placed. In addition to the aircraft, owning a Firebird gives you the freedom to build add-ons that may be custom to meet your needs including various configurations, mission-specific payloads, scalable ground control situations, and even various product support packages. You can adjust the operational support and mission set of Firebird using any of these options to suit your requirements. In order to make Firebird quickly accessible to customers, Northrop Grumman is collaborating with companies from various industries to bring it in a number of acquisition formats including direct acquisition and GOCO operations.
What are your thoughts on the US testing this massive CH-53K King Stallion helicopter? Do you think this will be the future of upcoming aircraft models? Do you know any aircraft that will compete with this masterpiece? Let us know in the comments down below. That's it for today's video, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can always get to watch more incredible videos like this. This has been High Technology serving you the best and cutting edge contents on the highest form of technology available on the planet. Until then, see you!